Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux on YouTube. And this is going to be my third video on Sway. And I had not planned to do this today, but I'm having big time problems. And so if you have been following, I want to make sure that um, I can help you <laughs> avoid the problems that I'm having. So um, I just reboot the machine. Uh, you're looking at uh, where we kind of left off after last video when we did the configuration. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Super B, which is my shortcut for the browser. Okay? And I just did. Um, and so, five seconds, 10 seconds. You know, you get the idea. It's going to come up eventually, but this is kind of a problem with GTK applications um, on a Wayland um, or Sway. I don't even know what it is, but there it goes. It finally came up. And the problem that I'm having is it's using, it's the same thing for uh, Thunar as well. So because it's a GTK app, there's got to be a solution, right? Well, I found a solution. I don't know if it's the best solution. But if you are following along, this might help you like it, like it helped me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit Super Q to close the application. Okay. Now I'm going to hope, open up my terminal. And I'm going to the um, .config sway directory. And the only thing in there is the config file. Okay. What I need to do immediately is to make a directory and we're going to call that config.d. Okay, now I am going to move the uh, config into the config, config.d directory. Okay, now let's uh, ls and you'll see that the config.d is there and ls again and we're going to rename so move the config into default okay and let's go ahead and just look at the default uh, configuration like I showed you before it's got key bindings you know it, it does you know it's not a it's not a big time uh, configuration file it just basically handles bare minimum oh I don't know if I did this before but I did change my terminal to kitty uh, I was using Tylex before and I'm just I don't know I just decided to switch it up a little bit and I'm using kitty so um, this editor is micro and this the uh, the shortcut to quit is super I'm oh, sorry uh, control Q and we're going to uh, go back into the sway directory and we're going to create a config uh, so I'm going to uh, edit a config file and we're going to so there's nothing in here all right and we're going to use the default uh, config in the uh, config dot d directory okay so all we need to do is say include and then the dollar home and then we're going to put it con dot config and sway uh, sorry sway and config dot d and we're going to use all so we're going to use the uh, asterisk key and that's all that we need for that particular file. So I'm going to control S and control Q. And that is all for that. Now let's go back to the uh, config. Oh, sorry, dot uh, D directory. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I stopped for a second because I thought I was going to sneeze and I cleared the screen. So we're back to where we were. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit LS. We have the default, um, the default configuration right there. But what we need to do is create a new file and we're gonna call that um, auto start underscore applications. 
Okay. And we're going to authorize a pull kit. And so in this anyway, we're going to uh, the user lib. This is, you know, different for um, between it, distro to distro. So in Debian, it's policy um, kit dash one hyphen gnome and then uh, slash pull kit and then gnome oh, gnome authentication uh, agent and then dash one okay um, notifications we use mako in um, in um, sway so we are also going to I want you know what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put in the network applet which won't matter because we're it's, the only thing I'm using it for is visual recognition that the um, auto start application file is being run okay so I'm just gonna put exec nm applet and then I think uh, indicator And now we're going to uh, the GTK app problem solver. And then we're going to exec dbus um, update and then activation uh, environment environment and then dash dash system d and then and we're all caps display uh, wayland uh, underscore display and then waysock you see on what, what i almost wrote there <laughs> that's funny okay um <laughs> i'm gonna control s and control q Okay, I might have to reboot, uh, but I might not either. So what I'm going to do is, and just to give you also, like if I did Thunar right now, it worked pretty quick, okay? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Super Shift E just to see if re-logging in uh, solves the issue. Okay, so I'm going to hit do, uh, my password. Oh, uh, wow. What's the problem? Mako? Did I not do that correctly? Oh, well, I guess let's go see. So, cd into config, uh, sway, and then config.d, and then let's edit the auto start applications. Oh, because I didn't put exec in, goofy. All right, control S, control Q, and now let's um, let's go ahead and exit and then re-log back in again. Okay. Oh, and right here. So we got the visual confirmation that the, um, the NM applet uh, ran. So I'm going to hit Super B and then let's see how long it takes for it to start up. So Super B. That's a whole lot better. Okay. Uh, Super F because that was a problem too. Super F for Firefox. I'm sorry, Firefox. For Thunar. Um, so that is 10 times better than it, or more than that, uh, than it was. So, all right, let's pause for a sec and let's think about if we have time to do something else. You know, after thinking about it for a second, I think the video needs to stand on its own just in case somebody is looking for just this solution. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, stop for right now, and um, and that is going to be all for this video. And uh, thank you all for uh, joining and commenting and subscribing, and I'll see you soon.